Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your All Signs Collective reading. We're gonna see who is thinking about you right now. We're gonna see what the energy pulls in. Uh, please know that these readings may not resonate with everybody out there. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box and in the comments. Uh, today the extended is not free so if it resonates with you you can check it out um, I do the free extended almost every reading but every now and then um, I don't okay now the extended uh, reading link below is um, there's more in depth than in what I do in these readings okay so you're getting more uh, with the extended reading link uh, so with that, let's just get started with your reading. Let's see who is thinking about you right now. First, I'm going to pull the energy here with the Yin Yang Oracle. See what uh, comes through for you. I also want to say um, I did read a comment. Uh, someone had made a comment about... Um, you know, you must be insane to think that I'm going to uh, go back to somebody or something like that. OK, I'm going to let you know it's not my job to tell you what to do. Um, this is your journey. You listen to your intuition. I just pull in the energy and show you what the possibility is here. But I just want to let you know it's not my job to tell you what to do only because, right, everybody's in a different situation. One person could be with a toxic person. One person could have just had an argument with a person, okay? So no reader should ever tell you what to do. Now, we do ask for guidance, so that is different. You know, we're asking spirit for guidance, but I would never tell you what to do, okay? So I said my piece. I said it in Cancerian's reading, too. So with that, let's get started here, okay? So the first card uh, that... Uh, hold here is divine timing okay so there's some sort of timing situation here with a particular person okay greater forces are at play okay so this is surrendering to this is saying here you know letting go surrendering that things are working out in the perfect timing here okay I also see here uh, ego okay so we have ego so I feel like you could be dealing with somebody where appearances matter. Um, this is someone who definitely has some pride, some ego. You know, they could even be vain. <laughs> that may not resonate with everybody out there, okay? I also feel with this, this divine time here, there is, this is someone I feel that's thinking about you, that there is a spiritual connection. So some of you may even feel this person. You know, um, even though there is distance or you, the two of you have not come together yet, you have here nurture and you also have here self-care, okay? Interesting here because this is a card of compassion. It's also a card of sincere, sincere feelings. So somebody I feel here is thinking about you. They do have sincere feelings about you. Now, this is someone who right now their energy is low or depleted. So this is someone taking time to themselves. They may be going through some personal uh, issues in their life. Um, it's also somebody wanting to spend time alone. Okay, so if there is someone that you've been waiting to hear from, Definitely picking up this person in your energy. I do feel like there is someone who does sincerely have feelings for you is the first thing that I am seeing. So there is someone thinking about you. Now, this self-care can also be about this person getting their thoughts together. Okay, because it also talks about recharge, wanting time alone, retreating. Okay, can it also tell me there's distance here? So what else uh, does the collective need to know? Let's see what else here. Okay, so you got privileged, uh, privileged lady. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. This is um, number 12, which is three. Okay, this talks about the birth of something new. 
It's them for this energy. So someone who's thinking about you, they're seeing you in this really uh, nice energy. They're seeing you as abundant. They may be seeing you as very nurturing. You also have here courthouse. This is uh, justice energy, number 23, which is five. Okay, this feels like this is somebody who's getting ready to give you some sort of confession. Now, it can also tell me that for some of you, this could be somebody who is wanting to do the right thing in a situation. And then you have the unexpected here, okay? It says unexpected, but since, you know, we're talking about love here, something unexpected is going to happen with this person. And look, bottom of the deck here, you do have a uh, pathway. So interesting because I felt a very spiritual connection with this divine energy and the pathway. You can see there's a lot of butterflies here leading there's a path here that spirit, I feel, is leading you both on, okay? Some of you, it's a spiritual journey, but I feel like this person's going to do something unexpected, whether it's a confession, whether it's doing the right thing in a situation. There could be some sort of legal document involved in your situation. I'm going to say some of you, maybe this is someone you are legally separated from or divorced, possibly. Um, but look what your next card is. You also have here marriage. Okay. So it could talk about commitment. Maybe this is somebody that you were married to. But there's some sort of new door here. And I'm seeing two threes here. Okay. Let me look at the other numbers here. You've got number nine. These numbers may be important here. Number eight tells me there is opportunity possibility here. Okay. But two threes. Some of you may be seeing repeating threes. So with that, let's pull your tarot. Let's see what comes through here. Thank you, Spirit. Who is thinking about you, the collective, right now? Who is thinking about you, the collective, right now? At this point, it feels like it could be anybody. You got the Sun card. It could be a Leo. Okay, I'm only going to call it the Strong Signs. Seven of Cups. Six of Wands. The World. Who is thinking about you right now? Ace of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Oh, wow. Wow. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Page of Cups. Yeah, this person's getting ready to do something to make a gesture here or communication. You also have here the Three of Cups. Might as well just put these three cards down here. Actually, I'll do this. The Four of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and we also have here the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's go through this. Okay. So you got the Sun card. You also have here the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. So it shows me that this person sees the potential for happiness with you. I said here that it's the start of something new, the birth of something new. There's hesitation though, the Four of Cups. This person's not um, too sure. I feel that you're going to accept an offer, <laughs> right? Or that you're receptive to this person okay to this love offer here that i'm seeing now some of you i'm going to say if you feel this is somebody from your past it could be this person is feeling like they're missing an opportunity with you but i see here the seven of cups the seven of pentacles and the king of pentacles see that's what i was saying here this person here is taking time to themselves they want alone time this is somebody who's gathering their thoughts because it does feel like this person could be feeling a bit confused but it's also somebody looking at the possibilities it could even be somebody who is kind of daydreaming right here with the seven of cups or fantasizing and the seven of pentacles and the king of pentacles all right, tells me here, and it's again not about male or female, it's about the energy. This person is really in for flexion. Now, it can be that this person uh, feels there is uh, something invested here or they want to invest, okay? King of Pentacles. They're trying to find, I feel, um, they want to feel secure, okay? This is someone, too, being very, very uh, practical, 
And it may be somebody too who has a lot to offer, okay, and I'm going to say in a material way. Now, we have the Six of Wands. We're going to clarify some of these energies. You have the Knight of Swords, and you also have here the Four of Wands. Okay, so after this period of time, I do see this person coming towards you. We have the Knight of Swords, and I feel like this person, they want victory here, okay? And I'm going to say here, this person's looking at a relationship here with you. We, You did get the marriage card. So I, I feel like this person is coming towards you pretty serious. They're really thinking about the possibilities. Now, I'm going to say here, now maybe this is somebody who has options, somebody who gets a lot of attentions here with attention with the Six of Wands and the Seven of Cups. We're going to see what that energy is about. Um, but I do see somebody here who is reflecting, okay? Feels like somebody here who is really thinking about a secure future here. And then you have the world card, strong Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. You have the three of cups and you got the page of cups. See, this is where the communication comes in. This is some sort of new beginning, new chapter. Um, it tells me here wanting to meet up with you feel like this person wants to go out they want to see you they want to communicate is that energy it's definitely a very social energy at this point i don't know who this is right i feel like this could be this could be a new person this could be a past person right let me know in the comments what you're trying to manifest okay and that's a good way for you to manifest what you want because you're putting it in the to the universe by putting it into the comments so let's see here um why the seven of cups is here tell me more about the seven of cups okay so we have a king of wands yep and we have an ace of wands here so look at that and bottom of the deck here too you have a queen of wands somebody here wants the opportunity with you i'm gonna say the king and the queen of wands aren't looking at each other you do have the lovers here on the bottom of the deck here as well strong gemini energy but i'm sensing here this is someone who wants the opportunity with you they see a lot of growth expansion here very attracted to you very attracted to you this i also see the king of wands as someone who is really thinking contemplating i'm just going to say with all these wands here they may be fantasizing here okay about intimacy with you i definitely feel like this is someone around you in your energy let's see why the seven of pentacles is here tell me more about the seven of pentacles Okay, Seven of Swords. Yeah, I said they're collecting their thoughts. They're reflecting here. This is someone who I feel they're strategizing. Okay, that's why they're holding back right now because they're strategizing. They're reflecting here to, look at this. I can't make this up. Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who is seriously thinking about the future. And I said that, I believe I said that already, <laughs> okay? But either this is someone who already has feelings for you or this is someone who sees you as the perfect partner. Look at that, Nine of Cups, that's the wish. Wow. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify this, um, I'm gonna put this two of cups there because i feel that's important tell me more about this page of cups and then we're going to see how you see this person how they see you maybe can give you a clue who this is tell me more about the page of cups tell me more about the page of cups look at that the hermit strong virgo and you also have here the ten of cups Definitely somebody who has been doing a lot of thinking here, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you here, the hermit is also someone who spends, spends time alone, 
okay, to gather their thoughts like I talked about. This feels like a single energy, okay? Um, it does not feel like if you're dealing with someone who's in another relationship, I don't feel this is that person, okay? And that's not gonna be everybody's story. This feels like somebody who is single, all right? Uh, who is coming towards you, wanting to connect, somebody who has really thought about the gesture or the communication here. Um, I do feel like they're going to feel it out. And look at that. I can't make it up. The Ten of Cups energy. This is someone I feel who sees happiness, okay, completeness with you. I'm going to get one more with this Page of Cups. Tell me more about this Page of Cups. Okay, Six of Pentacles. It's a giving energy. And the Knight of Pentacles tells me here, this is someone coming towards you reliable. This is someone, they're going to reach out to you and they're going to ask you out on a date. That's the energy that I get there, okay? So someone here who's going to ask you out on a date. Let's see. I'm going to pull a few more of these Kipper cards and then I'm going to see how you see this person and how they see you. This someone definitely wants to meet up with you. What can you share with the collective? What does the collective need to know? Okay, interesting. Got false person here, main person, despair, and you also have here gift. Okay. Well, this, you know, the false person, now maybe some of you, this, you know, take it how it resonates. I get two messages here because everybody's in a different place. But one, there may have been somebody that was truly on your mind and you, you know, you definitely had disappointment with this person. Now, some of you, I feel like too, this could be someone who has not really shown, you know, their cards, so to speak, hasn't shown that they're interested or they want to come towards you because they're in fear of disappointment. That's for some of you. Okay. I did say that this person has a bit of ego. Okay, ego and pride. So this person, I do feel, and I said it here too at the Four of Cups, they're not sure if you're going to be receptive. Now I'm going to say this could actually be somebody who was not honest with you in the past. This could be a past person. This could be somebody who disappointed you because maybe they weren't their true self with you. Maybe they weren't honest. Okay, but what I am seeing here is I see here a gift and a main person in your life here. And that's that open doorway that I feel this person is coming towards you. So whatever situation you are in, I feel like this person wants you to be their number one. Got a number one here. This is main person and you also have here gift. Now, maybe this person's going to give you some sort of gift. They were going to show you. I did say that I do feel this is a giving energy. Someone coming towards you wanting to give. Um, you know, and if it's a past person, maybe this was somebody who wasn't giving in the past. Maybe that's the unexpected here that you see more effort. Okay. But what's unexpected here is that whoever this is, this is someone I feel who is, is pretty serious. So let's, uh, dive into now. How do you see this person? How are you seeing this person? Then we'll see how they see you. How are you seeing this person? Okay, you got the entang uh, entangled, okay? So some of you, like I said, it could be a past person, but it's really that um, you feel like there's something here about having a conversation, communication needs to happen, maybe for there to be progress. Okay, um, this may be somebody too, you know, maybe kind of you've shown your boundaries to this person. Let's see how they see you. Oh my gosh, look at that. Head over heels. Somebody who is head over heels for you, okay? Now this could be somebody who... Um, either they fell fast for you or they could fall fast, okay? This is also someone being very cautious, which we've seen that in the energy um, leading up to this. So this is someone being cautious because they could be, they're worried that they could fall for you too fast, 
Okay, so there's somebody who is a bit cautious. They don't like to jump into things too quickly. Uh, the mutual energy here is spirit speaks. And this really talks about having open dialogue, having open communication, okay? I feel like some sort of communication is about to happen between you and this person very soon. So uh, with that, I am going to take it to the extended. We're going to dive deeper. Link uh, what we're going to do in the extended. I'm going to look at the next four weeks energy. Gives you some timing to see when the communication is coming in. Uh, we're going to dive deeper into this person, what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions. We'll get some love notes and guidance as well. So link is in the description box and in the comments. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.